now coming back to app delegate login success this method will be called whenever we click on login button and uh, the login will be success and the next controller will be the container view of that mf side menu so let contain mf mf side menu container self dot storyboard no sketching okay no issues uh, just make a object of storyboard where storyboard main bundle nil self sorry uh, main storyboard dot instantiate view controller with identifier and the identifier is the same which we gave in the storyboard and this is the side menu container and this is the storyboard id so just copy paste it as mf side menu see you can see now the mf side menu classes all are there after we add uh, the after we add the uh, imported the dot h file in the bridging header here so we can access all the methods there uh, yeah, there it is exclamation sign let me make some space so that you can see it's fine now self dot window dot root view controller equals to mf side menu container now we have already set the root of uh, after login the root will be the mf side menu container and now we have to add the left and the central controller so again make uh, the objects of those controllers Main storyboard dot instantiate uh, and the identifier here i think for the left one it should be the left side controller just copy paste it here as left side controller Oh, sorry this is a central one uh, just make it a left one first and now just copy paste this statement and make it as a central one central view controller and this should be central view controller and the identifier is also the same central view controller now we have to set these mf side menu container dot left menu controller equals to left view controller mf side menu container dot central view controller equal to central view controller so we are done with this part and now the left and the central view controller as are the part of the side menu containers as a left and central respectively now we need to call this function so I would like to add a notification here I am not creating a shared instance so ns notification center add observer sorry default center add observer and the object is self the selector name is login success copy this I'm going to name the notification also as login success and object is nil and from this view controller which is the login view controller we will fire the notification I'll pose the notification as login success so this will reach here this will reach in app delegate and will do the needful so first of all what we'll do we will make the self dot window dot root view controller equals to nil and then further we will make the root view controller as the mf side menu container i think so far so good everything is fine uh let us give uh, no okay let's run the project once let's see what happens
So the login button is not in the center as I have not made uh, any auto layout constraints on this button. So just press this button, what happens? Yeah, we have the central view controller and we will have that left side panel here. So this way we can log in and when again the app start, it will again start from the beginning. So in order to do that, you can just, you know, have a uh, NS user default key just like, uh, let me do that also. When this is done, just take a key uh, NS user default, sender user default, set uh, value for key. Let's say the value should be oh, oh, one is locked. So what's it going to do? We need to fetch this value whenever we start the app. So let's fetch the value. Uh, let's take a variable well is logged and as user default standard user default value for key is logged I may require string or not okay let us see if is logged equals to one we will straight away call login success and that's what we are done here so we again build the app uh, there's some problem here uh, some nil value is expected oh yeah for the first time it's actually nil so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, just check first that if and it's user default and this value is not equals to nil else this complete block okay fine now on the app oh man it's double equals to nil I'm sorry Yeah. Now we come to the login page here and when we click here, we are now in the central view controller where we have already set up the side menu. Now if you close the app and if you run that again, you will be in the central controller. So means that you have bypassed the login part here and you are now in the MF side menu container and you will do all that stuff. Just make a table here and you know which I did in the Objective-C tutorial. So I think Hopefully this helps someone with the side menu containers. These are so cool in the apps nowadays. So it's very easy to integrate the Objective-C library in Swift. So if, if you have any kind of questions, comments or any kind of improvement in this uh, uh, particular project, uh, particular sample tutorial, please do comment and let me know uh, if you want any kind of tutorial you want to make. Uh, I will make, I will definitely try to make. Uh, so thanks. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.